welcome back. You're watching Overdrive and it's time now to take your queries on auto selector. Sirish joins us from Pune. Hey Sirish. Well, Sirish, before I actually get to our viewers' queries, I have one question for you and that is about the Jazz. Now the Jazz has actually been sandwiched between the Maruti Ritz and the launch of the upcoming Fiat Grande Punto. How would you compare it to both these cars? See, on price, it cannot compare. The Jazz is more expensive. The Grande Punto will be a price uh, warrior, so to speak. Even the Ritz is very competitively priced. It's even cheaper than the i10. So on price, you really can't compare these two cars. Actually, I was talking to the Honda guys, and uh, they really don't see any of the other small cars being competitors to the Jazz. They're not natural rivals. Because of the pricing, also because of the space inside the Jazz, the performance from the engine, the ride and handling package, it all competes with a proper C-segment sedan. And they are worried that um, the Jazz will compete with the city. They're not worried about other cars, especially not small cars. All right, enough about the Honda Jazz. Let's get down to our first question. This comes into us from Dev Das. Dev Das writes in saying he's keen on buying himself a cruiser for riding with a pillion. He shortlisted the Thunderbird, the Hero Honda Charisma, the Bajaj Pulsar 220, as well as the Avenger. Which would be better for long rides, Sirish? If you're talking strictly for a pillion and for the pillion's uh, comfort, then the Thunderbird makes more sense than the Bullet. I prefer, the, I personally prefer a Bullet. I'm more of a Bullet person. I don't think the Thunderbird suits uh, me or uh, no, suits that whole Bullet image. But uh, we went out on a ride recently and uh, on the Thunderbird there was a pillion and the pillion was most comfortable on that Thunderbird. He didn't want to sit on any other bike including the LB500. So if you're looking for a pillion comfort plus riding comfort also, the Thunderbird makes the most sense. It is the most comfortable and uh, one of the most powerful Indian bikes you can buy. Also, Dave, that's do check out the touring issue of Overdrive. It features all of the bikes that you've just written into us about. Let's move on to our next question. This comes into us from Chennai. Srikant writes in saying he currently owns a Wagoner, which has put in almost about 27,000 kilometers. It's a 2005 model. He's planning to change his car. His budget is between 5 to 7 lakh rupees. His daily usage is about 12 to 15 kilometers. He's considering the Hyundai Verna, the Ford Fiesta, and the Swift Desire. For that kind of usage, would you recommend a diesel engine, Sirish? Well, not for this uh, limited amount of uh, usage because the diesel engine costs more than a petrol engine. So you'll be spending more for a diesel car than a petrol car. So in that sense, it really does not make so much sense. And if you're looking at those competitors, might I also suggest the uh, Fiat Linea. At 7.2 lakhs, you get the fully loaded petrol. Okay, that petrol engine is not very powerful, but then the features you get in the car, the equipment levels, they're all fantastic to be very honest. Uh, apart from that, the other cars, say the Hyundai Verna, it's got an excellent diesel engine. And I li quite like the car. I don't like the way it is styled, but the interior space, the comfort in the car, all that scores very highly. So if you can spend 7 lakhs, stretch your budget slightly more, go for the Hyundai Verna. Let's move on to our next question. This comes into us from Vishal. He writes in saying his budget is about 50 to 55 lakh rupees. Lucky guy, Vishal. He drives about 4 to 5 times a week on the Mumbai Pune Expressway. He's looking for a car in the descending order of priority. Performance, handling, good speed stability and braking. And then the last on his list is ride quality. He shortlisted the BMW 530D and the facelifted Audi A6 TSI. He wants to know if the new A6 is due in early 2010 in India and when is the new 5 series coded F10 going to be launched in India. Also the A6 is almost 5 lakh rupees more expensive than the BMW. Do you think it's worth the buy? From that lot, I personally prefer the BMW. That 530D engine, that uh, six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine is fantastic. It's superb on performance. It's got great drivability. It's got uh, so much torque that, uh, no, driving the car fast is effortless, so to speak. And uh, as for the Audi A6, the new V6 engine is supercharged. It's a smaller capacity engine than the old 3.2 in the A6, but it's got more performance. It's got better fuel efficiency. It's better on emissions. It's a very, very good engine as far as petrol engines go. And it is quicker than the 530D, but uh, it's not that much quicker. And of course, you're spending so much more on petrol in that car. And also both these cars, the 5 Series, the A6, the new variants will be here end of next year. Uh, I don't think you can wait for that long. So go for the 5 Series now. You will love it. Well, also, Vishal, do tune into Overdrive next week and you can watch Sirish road testing the Audi A6 3.0. With that, it's time for us to wrap up this edition of Auto Selector. Keep sending us your queries. Help desk at overdrive.co.in. That is our email address.